Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In our previous video, we have learned how to use the um, hooks using the runner file and also we have learned like how to create the hooks file. Today we are going to learn how to write the setup and the tear down. Setup is nothing but um, opening up the browser or loading the browser and tear down is nothing but uh, managing the driver state. That means like how to quit the browser. Okay and in cucumber most of the time it is recommended to write individual test so there should not be any uh, preconditions like uh, one test should be dependent on another result okay so let's go and get started now it's going to be very very simple so before that i have done few changes so if i go to my login.feature file you can see like um, the code is almost same there is no change in the feature files both the feature files but there is a change in the uh, login steps if you go to the step definition here you can see like we have introduced this web driver wait that means our script uh, are failing for a couple of videos now it's not going to fail actually okay so i have implemented the web driver wait um, already there is a detailed explanation in our java playlist both in tamil and english so if you do not know about the web driver wait concept i would recommend you to go and watch that but here i will just give you a glimpse what i have done so here i have just declared and here i have done the initialization i have called the constructor and i have created the object okay and here you can say like uh login should be success right so we are clicking on the login link entering username password and then we'll wait until there is uh, this particular user okay so this is the user uh, x path so we'll wait like visibility okay we'll wait until that is visible then we'll just use the drive dot quit and similarly for failure so for uh failure it's not needed i guess yeah and if i go to the add, add to cart step definition file um so here you can select same web driver wait the object and here we have used the visibility so we'll just wait until the login is completed and in the mat options we are always getting the error right so when we search for a book if the book suggestions are available so we wait until the suggestions comes and then we'll click on the suggestions okay and similarly for like add to cart uh, so we'll wait until like uh, the add to cart book uh, button is visible okay and here we are doing something like visibility and invisibility that means like if i go to my application so let's say that i'm going to add search a product and i'm going to click on this like add to cart once i click click this one you can see this one right the snack bar or also known as toast message so it will basically comes and disappears so i'll wait until it is visible as well as invisibility then i will just take the text from the cart like here we have like four so it should come like four and i'm just sys out and then we are just doing some assert and i'm clicking uh, quitting my browser okay now here we are going to write the common steps like the setup and the um, tear down right so if i go to my hooks class first of all what we have to do is uh, we have to remove the web driver wait initialization and the driver initialization within the step definition file and we have to move those to this login steps okay so if i go to my login step here i can say like we have these two guys i will just copy and i will go to my hooks file i will place it here and then again i'll go to my login step so this is the thing right so this basically uh, opens the browser and also loads the url so i'm going to cut from here and i'm going to delete this so user navigate to the application is no longer needed okay because that will be your part of your uh, common files and that means like from hooks we are going to get okay so let's go to the hooks and here where we have to create that before the scenario not before the steps right before this scenario i have to do it like before running each and every scenario i have to do this i'm just going to comment this guy and here i'm going to paste it okay so that's it pretty much fine now similarly in the after step what i have to i have to do like a driver dot quit right so here i'm just going to say like driver dot quit okay since we have given the driver dot quit within the after now from all my step definition i'm going to remove this okay so here i'll just delete this guy and that's it 
here also this user navigation to book cart application is not needed now i will just remove this and i will remove both this guys because we are going to get it from the hooks right so here of course i will get error because it is it doesn't know who is the driver so here i'm going to say like extends and then i'm going to say like hooks uh, that is like my hooks okay so that's it so we have solved the driver problem but still still we are getting um compile time compile time issue because like driver is default and this guy is in another package so what we can do we can make it like protected or public as per your wish so i'm going to make it like protected which will make more sense i guess okay now if i go back to my add to cart here we do not have any kind of compile time compile time issue right now let's go to the login steps same thing here also i'm going to extend the my hooks okay so far i believe you are able to understand what we have done so so from the feature files both the feature files like if i go to the feature file here you can see like user navigate to the application which is not needed now right so basically i'm going to remove this background from here and i can give like pretty from it okay and then if i go to my login feature here also like user navigates to the application this step is not required because already we have that you know before hooks okay and user clicks on the login button this we might need okay we'll use this for now let it be now if i go to my runner file and if i run this will it work no it will not work i will tell you why okay i'm going to right click runners and test ng test we will end up with an exception says like we are not allowed to extend the hooks okay so if i go up you can see like it says you are not allowed to extend the class that defines step definitions or hooks okay so what does it mean in the sense like in cucumber you cannot extend a class which is going to act as a hooks or also you cannot extend one class to another step definition class okay so that is the um, behavior i cannot say limitation but that is how the cucumber works so we cannot extend the hooks to any of the step definition so if i get to my login steps you can see like it's basically extending the hooks which is not possible but we know that we need the driver somehow so that i can write my setup here i can write my uh, tear down here and once the object is created here based on the same object i have to use it in my step definition as well so what is the workaround it's very simple we'll create a common file okay so within the hooks class i'm going to create a class let's name it like driver uh, init something like this and driver init or instance whatever you call it okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the same thing just like um, i'm going to cut this guy okay the declaration part i'm going to do it here and what i'm going to do in the my hooks i'm going to say like my hooks should extend the driver in it okay and if i go to my step definition now i still want the driver right so here i will say like driver in it okay you might be a bit confused let me clear it for you okay so the problem in cucumber is like it doesn't allow the step definition to import the i mean to extend the hooks so what we have done is we have just created the driver uh, let me rename this to driver instance okay so we have created a class called driver instance and there i have declared this two uh, things one is the driver and another one is the web driver, right and i'm going to make it static so that it will work for other class as well as a single object okay now within my hooks the rest of the codes are very same so here we'll just use the driver we'll use the web driver wait and we'll just create an object we'll go to the uh, this website we'll wait for the implicit wait we'll do the maximization and this is out is no longer needed i'll just comment and once all the steps are completed we'll just use the driver.quit okay now if i go to my step definition since step, 
since step definition are not allowed to extend the hooks so technically we are not extending the hooks but we are extending a class where we have our objects so we are able to get this driver from the driver instance class okay it's just like touching your nose in this not directly but like this that is how it works and here you can say like you can say like we have like yellow color which says like never used so you can use like control shift o control shift o basically import also if there is unnecessary import it will clear it up okay so you can just control shift o control s to save and that will remove all the warnings from your class file okay now if i go to the runner file and if i go and right click and execute this let's see what happens now it's running it should run i know okay so what what we have done is basically we have created a driver instance class where we have like the declaration of driver and the web driver weight and based on those we have a class called hooks which can extend the driver instance and based on those variables we are creating the object okay now here one thing you have to remember is basically hooks cannot be extended but hooks can extend anyone okay so that is the only one thing you have to remember in cucumber okay so here you can see like we got all the things we uh, we are able to run and if you go to our step definition class here we are not doing any setup we are not creating any object not the tear down like using the driver.quit okay here we have driver.quit but it should have given us error how does it work if i go to my console all this pass is in this login steps let go to my hook login should fail if i go and control click also it should work it shouldn't work actually but i don't know how it worked because like within the hooks here already i'm saying like driver quit there won't be any driver when we call this one so it really works login should be success if i go within that particular test which is this one so if i go to this like login should be success and here i'm using driver dot quit so the driver will get quit here itself and then it will go to the hooks file where it will try to call the driver dot quit again so there will be like null pointer exception it is supposed to give us null pointer exception but somehow it ran okay hmm interesting it should not work i believe you are able to understand like what happened i'm just going to set the debug point and i'm going to check what happening here so let me set the debug point here as well so in two places we are using the same drive.quit which should not work we, sh we are supposed to get the l pointer exception so let's debug one more time and check just for my confirmation okay uh debug point is here and it says like do you want to switch perspective yes i want to so here it's basically trying to give the driver dot quit still we have the driver object okay the so this is the first time it's calling so it should work fine yeah let's go to the next one here also it should work basically uh it doesn't call the step definitions for the next scenario also it should work okay fine now let's go to the next scenario here is it should be problem okay so here you can see like it says driver dot quit and here we have the driver which is fine but if i click on this next it should go to my after and it, it's basically like null right you can see it's basically like null 
and if I run this strange it's not giving us null pointer exception but technically here we do not have any driver so this basically like your should be failing but we are not getting any exception okay maybe i will update that in some another video but what we are going to do now is basically like uh within the last step i'm just going to delete all the driver dot quit so that we won't get any exception okay now let's go to the add to cart here also should get updated here we have removed the driver dot okay so i hope you are able to understand what i have done uh, just to give you a quick recap so hooks cannot be extended to any class but hooks can be extended i mean hooks cannot cannot be extended to any class but hooks can extend any class so that is what we have done so to solve that problem we have created a driver instance where we have declared the variables of web driver and the web driver right and if i go to the hooks there we are just creating the objects and in the after we are using the driver dot quit okay and if i go to my login steps here you can see we do not have any function to create the object okay so basically we have uh, uh we have like setup and tear down within the with the help of hooks okay and just for the code cleanup i have removed all the sysout statement all the commented code and it looks very clean with web driver weight as well okay so that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply Thanks for watching. Tada bye bye. Take care.